Now, when it comes to the topic of evangelism, there's always that one person who will declare no one has ever been argued into the kingdom, implying that when it comes to sharing our faith, we shouldn't be concerned with trying to answer people's questions about the claims of the Bible or the resurrection. No, no. All we simply need to do is share our testimony. Well, evidently, both Jesus and the Apostle Paul never received that memo. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Leeming from The One Minute Preacher, where every Thursday I put out short and informal videos just like this one. So if you enjoy it, why not consider subscribing? And if you've already done that, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and possibly even a share. Now, let me begin by saying that when in this video we're talking about arguing for the faith, we're not talking about getting into an angry confrontation with someone. We're talking about presenting an argument, presenting a case for Christianity in a godly manner. Furthermore, let me stress that sharing our testimony is extremely important. In fact, I would say that in most situations and with most people, sharing what Christ has done in our lives will have more of an impact than trying to explain the Kalam cosmological argument. Now, when we read the Gospels, we see again and again that Jesus never shied away from a good argument. How could he have when his pulpit was the town square, the marketplace? It was a forum where people could ask questions and yes, even criticize his harshest critics being the religious leaders who upon discovering that they would never beat Jesus in a good argument, decided to kill him instead. And the same holds true when we read the book of Acts about the life of the Apostle Paul. How upon entering a new city, he would go to a synagogue and immediately begin to reason with them, to debate with them, to argue with them concerning the Messiah. Acts chapter 17 verse 2 says that as was his custom, Paul went to a synagogue and for three Sabbaths reasoned with them from the scripture. You see, with Paul, he didn't just give an evangelistic message, have an altar call, and then hightail it out of there. He stuck around for what we today would call a Q&A time. He would allow people to question him. And in that way, many, many people were argued into the kingdom. In fact, in many ways you could say that the early church was birthed through argumentation. Now, lest any of you become discouraged right now and think, well, I could never do that. Truth be known, neither could I. That's a very unique gifting and calling. But that shouldn't prevent us from attempting to answer people's questions. And if we can't answer them, then perhaps someone in our church could. And there's always plenty of really good Christian apologetic YouTube channels that we could direct people to. Remember, as believers, we're all called to give a reason for the hope that we have. And perhaps the reason you give someone may just argue them into the kingdom.